exam centers and everything you require so let's start with the date itself so first i will start with the btec tentative dates and the similar schedule is for other courses also and so the you know, to, to last date to register for candidates which has already started is 24th may so by 24th may you should be registering if you are outside from bangalore and 31st may is the last date for registering if you are from bangalore right so you can register in the bangalore center itself june 2 is when the commencement of a small uh, slot booking for all the candidates will start and uh, the exam will be there between june 10 to june 30 so it's a 20 days windows and within this window you have to book your slot to attend the peset exam right so once the peset exam is over now you see the date of full july 4th when the passage results will be out right and the first round of counseling will start after that and uh, july last week is by which uh, time the uh, submission of original documents will happen or the last date of surrender of seats right so and uh, july august uh, in the august there will be second round of counseling for btec and uh, then in august end uh, there will be commencement of the classes or the other activities right programs now about the test centers you know so it uh, is all india test so you can see test centers in um, karnataka andhra some bihar gujarat jammu kashmir and almost all the states and at least two to three cities in every state so even in uttar pradesh you have lucknow and the varanasi or you know madhya pradesh you have bhopal indore and so you can mumbai or maharashtra also mumbai pune nagpur delhi also center orisha bhubaneswar and so on south there are more centers even in Gohan in assam so you can go through those lists right now how you have to do if you have not done the registration for this you have to visit their all website peset.com and there we have you have to do registration for the all india exam and i will show um, once you enter there you have to create your login password and once you are logged in then you already have a already registered in then you have a fee to pay registration fees of 1050 and uh, which is for all the main camp um, main campus and electronic city campus for the hanumant number nagar campus there is a 50 uh, 550 rupees is the registration fee so once you you have to register select a program on which you want to apply fill your basic information name your name your credentials and all the the course details pay fees and your complete application so that will you will get a slot booking for you right but you know as i said 1050 is for all registrations and for the hanuman nagar campus which is 550 only right and um, payment mode is they will accept all the modes like credit card net banking so you can pay by your through master visa and now coming to the course structure or the exam pattern right so exam pattern if you see for the tech there will be three uh, this passage is a three hours exam so within three hours that is 180 minutes there will be 180 questions also 60 and uh, physics and maths will be 60 questions each and uh, chemistry and english put together will be 60 questions so if you see there is a lesser weightage for chemistry and 20 marks are also for there for your english you know so that is how 180 minutes and one so you have to complete one question. there is no negative marking in this exam for btech similarly for other courses if you see you know as i said you know one so uh, in your you know physics chemistry maths all will be coming from the cbsc pattern 11th and 12th classes and 20 questions are from uh, english will be mostly grammar now if you are doing a btech diploma student right and you are doing letter entry so your test then will not be three hours but it will be two hours test that is 120 minutes test and there will be only 60 questions related with your field right which is mechanical civil electrical and so on now coming to the other students you know which are there from the all other bachelor's courses right bba bba bca and they have a lot of you know courses sports management hospitality event management bcom honors regular evening course journalism also mass communication performing arts bsc psychology and so on so there are at least you know 30 to 20 to 30 different programs which you can you know get through that and there will be also a passive entrance tense will have many sections right so for all of these categories if you see 120 minutes that is it is not a three hours it is just a two minute two hours and there's three sections will be there english comprehensive or verbal ability 30 questions analytical and logical reasoning 45 questions and then last quantity to reasoning nothing more than maths but 45 so if you see 45 plus 45 90 questions are from more of mathematical background and 30 from the english or the comprehension capability so this is how uh, now if you are applying for bdes so bdes uh, is again uh, 120 minutes that means two hours but there are 10 different types of section, uh, sections which you will be testing so yours will not be only three sections but more sections so they will check general knowledge uh, your basic knowledge of colors and forms sensitivity of aspects spatial sense ability to visualize 3d visualization freehand sketching basic english basic analytical and entrepreneurship or natural language so it's a 10 type different type of things which will come now coming to the other courses
which is BBA, LLB and BA. So legal courses. So legal courses, 30 questions. You have basically 30 questions for English, 30 for analytical, 30 for quality and 30 for law. So that is the additional. So if you're going for law test, law admissions, BA, LLB honors or so programs, then there will be 90 questions for English, quantitative and uh, uh, analytical, but 30 questions for the basic law. Similarly, for the pharma, for pharma, you don't have anything specifically for pharma, but uh, you should have taken biology or maths, right? So 30, 30, 30 physics, 30 chemistry, 30 30 maths and uh, last 30 English comprehension and if you also doing BSc nursing then there are also two hours test so in that two hours uh, 30 minutes physics 30 minutes 30 questions chemistry 30 biology and 20 English so English is less for the BSc nursing admission so those are three more courses I have covered if you are looking for master's course then the MCA MCA courses again 60 minutes 60 maths uh, 20 analytical 20 computer and 20 the reading comprehension right so you can see math mathematics weightage is very high for the mca students right and the rest of the things are 60 marks m pharma uh, 120 minutes same two hours test but pharmaceuticals will be 30 pharmaceutical analysis will be 30 pharmacology will be 30 pharma cognacy will be 30 so total every subject has equal specializations total 120 questions 120 minutes no negative marking in any test Executive M Tech, there will be no written exam. As I said, there will be only personal interview. Based on that, you will be selected and uh, you can join the course, right? So now moving to the next course, which is the Executive MBA. So again, like similar to that, Executive MBA will be uh, personal interview only. So that's all the schedule, and uh, there is no negative market in any of the test by facets uh, which I have discussed. So that's all I have for the admission process. Please do like and uh, share this video and also subscribe to this channel to get more updates.